So, you've just spent thousands of pounds on a fantastic body kit for your car. Now that it's finally arrived, you can't believe how delicate it actually is. In fact, as much as a few stones thrown up from a car in front is going to leave yours looking like you've just escaped an assassination attempt. You need to strengthen that kit. We've just done exactly that. Welcome to King and Titan Racing. Let's go through the steps. First of all, let's look at the materials available to us. We're going to be using fiberglass and an epoxy resin mixture for the majority of what we're doing, but we can use other products as well, and things like foam or wood even can be cut to smaller profiles and set in recesses, and then you put fiberglass over the top to seal it in, and that gives the part a really strong structure in those areas. That's used more on things like behind bumper lips, etc., so it's not useful for this part, but what I am going to do on this part is use a moldable metal mesh. My biggest concern with this is the structure and strength of the actual connecting parts where it bolts to the car and the overall flexibility of it. So I'm going to put this in around the part, fiberglass over the top and then that will actually sit within the part itself and give it that strength from within. Also the extra layer of fiberglass and resin across the back will make the overall part much stronger, stiffer and give it a really nice smooth finish on the back. To do that for the entire car though, I'm going to need quite a lot of materials. So let's take a look at what we're going to be using. There's actually not much involved with doing this job. We have the glass fiber mat and the aluminium mesh, which as I explained, is what I'm going to be reinforcing the part with. We've then got the epoxy mixture and the hardener. When you mix those together, you get a paint-like substance, which we're going to be brushing into and across the mesh and the mat. That's then going to harden as a solid piece and give us that final product. We've got a collection of cheap brushes, and the reason is, as this dries on the brush, you're gonna be ruining those. So get a bunch and ones that you can just throw away after. And latex gloves, these are vital to this job, and anytime you're working with fiberglass anything, because when glass fiber gets in your skin, it takes days to come out, it's incredibly irritating. So latex gloves underneath the normal gloves, that should hopefully catch any stray bits coming through. And if you're doing a smaller area and you're not doing a whole bumper like I am, then you can actually get a repair kit for doing this. And if I was just creating a tab, for example, I'd just use one of these because it gets all of this in the box. So let's get to work. So to start things off, I'm gonna reinforce the metal tabs down here, which is where the actual mesh will go behind that vent section. And then I'm gonna do the metal layer as well around that connection tab and maybe one across the top tab as well. And then that way I'll set those in and as they start to dry, I'll then layer on a much larger piece across the whole panel. Once I was happy with how much fiberglass I'd put on the part, I left it alone for 24 hours so it could cure fully. Now it's time to trim back the excess where we've got the overhangs.
Behind me you can see the final parts now curing and once they're finished I'll do the trim back process on those as well. Once that's all finished and ready to go I'll put an underbody sealer on the back of every part the reason being that the wide body kit doesn't come with arch liners and things like that so they're going to be exposed. So we'll put this on every part and then it'll be ready to reassemble the car. And there we have it, a finished part. I left the underbody sealer to dry for a good few days because I laid it on quite thick. But as you can tell, the part is now a lot stronger than when it originally arrived. That's the fiberglass and the sealer doing a great job together. And it's also just a lot nicer to handle now. One other thing I showed in the video was using a Dremel to re-drill the holes that I put in where it fits to the car. So if you're gonna do that process as well, I heavily recommend this kit. It has everything you need in one and just makes your life a lot easier. If you are doing it yourself, I really hope it goes as smoothly for you as it did for us. It actually inspired a few other ideas on the car where we can use fiberglass to address some challenges and ideas that we've had. Next, in some of the coming up videos, we're gonna be showing how to actually fit the whole wide body kit from start to finish. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. As always, a like and subscribe makes a big difference to us as a channel. And thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.